What's going on everybody? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and today we are again taking a look at the day before, and their latest teaser trailer that hit Twitter and Facebook a few days back. Now for those of you that don't know, the day before crashed onto the survival MMO PvP scene about a month ago with an announcement trailer that lit it up over on YouTube. And this game looks to be ripped straight out of the Division universe, mixed in with a bit of Tarkov and The Last of Us. I mean, think Division Survival with vehicles and zombies, and you can imagine what kind of buzz this style of game creates. But before we dive into today's video, if you haven't yet done so, please smash that sub button for the latest gaming news and reviews, and of course, hit the bell icon to receive all future upload notifications from my channel. Alright, let's take a look at the latest from the day before. Before coming soon. So again, we don't have any live gameplay footage to go off of, just another teaser of what looks like footage grabbed from the game engine along with a rocking soundtrack. If anything, the team at Fantastic are doing a masterful job of promoting their IP that at this point has no release date and has not showcased actual live gameplay footage. Now jumping back to the footage, and we obviously see several vehicles traversing through the mud, and this is a mechanic that fans of The Division's survival have never been able to engage with. Now from previous trailers, we have heard comms chatter being broadcast from what sounds like a safe zone or base of operations, and that is perhaps where these vehicles are headed. Also in the original trailer, the narrator explained that it is a zone where players can mingle and trade for goods, which could be an interesting mechanic. We've also seen a group of photos released as part of the day before media packet, showcasing what are clearly non-urban environments, including a forested campsite, plane crash, and one of vehicles that are apparently climbing a snowy hill. We've also seen one of the vehicles run out of gas in the original trailer, leading to the player scavenging on foot for supplies. So at this point, this new trailer is now showing off the vehicles and what they will behave like once fully gassed up and moving. Notice at the bottom left of the screen that there is a gas gauge. So this will operate like other survival games that feature vehicles and that you will need to find gas whenever possible. Overall, I am always interested in survival games and still tout survival from the original Division game is my absolute favorite version of this genre. Now the day before has certainly caught the attention of the gaming populace with its raw and visceral gameplay footage. The mechanics of managing your resources and healing wounds through the crafting and application of bandages and even splints is nothing new to gaming but always adds a touch of realism and tension to any BR game. But at this point, because we have now received four trailers or shorter teaser trailers and had the game and staff featured on the IGN FanFest, I would say it is finally time to reveal the live gameplay footage and let the community decide to pay or pass on this one. Let's get the actual build into the hands of a channel or even a community for testing and real live feedback instead of these perfectly manicured and scripted trailers. Now I know the game has no release date as of now, but at least let us try it out on a 5 minute demo or even an alpha build just so we can see exactly how it looks and feels in our hands. But with the day before, I think it has come to the time where it is the moment where they need to go live with what they have. If it looks and plays like what we have seen in these trailers, then I think they will have a hit on their hands, but the community is going to remain hyped yet skeptical until they see it with their own eyes. Too many times the player base has seen beautiful trailers and been promised wild in-game functions only to receive dumbed down versions with lesser graphics and a game that functions only half as well as what they were promised. As always, I look forward to reading your feedback in the comment section below. How are you feeling about the day before and is it something you will personally pick up once it goes live? 
Once again, if you haven't yet smashed that sub button for the latest gaming news and reviews, please do so. And don't forget to ring the bell to never miss a future upload notification from my channel. If you could take the time to rate and or share the video, it would be greatly appreciated. Links to support my content creation outside of YouTube include Patreon and Teespring, both in the comments section below. Don't forget to join me on Twitch for weekly streams, join my community Discord server, and of course, follow me on Twitter for all my latest thoughts on most things gaming related. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.